Uh, well, uh, the, we have to refer back to the general burden of proof as we know it in our legal, in our legal jurisprudence. Uh, what I mean here is this, uh, whoever is asserting has the burden of proof on him. If I say that uh, Aisha is not a married woman, she's a single parent, against uh, known facts, the burden of proof that Aisha is a single parent is on me because I'm the one, I'm the one asserting. I'm the one asserting. So in the context of the petition before, before the tribunal, uh, some of those issues around qualifications that obese uh, lawyers had raised in their petition before the tribunal, uh, the burden of proof is on OB, you know, because he's the one, he's the one asserting. Uh, take, you know, take for example the question of double nomination of of Shetima against mm. Section 35, 35 of the Electoral of the Electoral Act. Uh, Obi is saying that as at 14th of July 2022, when Shetima was uh, nominated as a vice presidential candidate on the joint ticket with Bat, uh, he was still. Uh, a senatorial candidate of, of the APC in Borno Central Senatorial Senatorial District, and obese lawyers are relying on 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 a letter on a letter, and uh, the burden of proof is on obese lawyer to assert the fact that there was actually double nomination, as that 14th of July 2022. Why the letter on its face of it, bore 6th of July, uh, the minute, internal minute of INEC, you know, bore 14th of July. You know, I, I'm a lawyer. I don't want to raise uh, strenuous, uh, strenuous issues. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, began, it beggars belief that a letter was written on the 6th, submitted to INEC on the 6th, and... And uh, eight days later, eight days later, eight days later, uh, they, there will be questions around the authenticity of the death stamp on that document. I'm very sure. I'm very sure about it. I'm a practicing lawyer. I know what goes on in the registry of courts in offices.